This evening for tea, we are having a, a bit like spaghetti bolognese. I was busy this afternoon. I was went out this morning to buy a Christmas tree, but the place where I was buying the Christmas trees from, it didn't start till Monday. So I need to go back again. So I've been, I was out and about all morning. I've been washing the car and cleaning the car out this afternoon. So I've been busy and with the children. So um, I wanted something quick. And then I remembered I had some leftover filling from lasagna we had a couple of weeks ago in the freezer. So like the creamy bolognese filling from inside. And I've just defrosted it, made some spaghetti, and voila, we've got a, a delicious, nutritious tea. The bolognese has got red lentils in it and tomatoes and mushrooms and roasted peppers and garlic and all sorts. And spaghetti. And so it was really easy and it cooked really quickly and it's ready for my husband finishing work so we can all eat together. It's Saturday, so we are having a little picky tea and we're going to watch a film and I was just going to make some jacket potatoes and some salad, but then um, fancied some pasta to go with it. I know, pasta and jacket potatoes, but never mind. And I've got some uh, Indian spice couscous. And then Isaac decided he wanted pizza. I didn't have any pizza dough, so I've just grabbed two naan breads that I had, popped some of my tomato sauce that I keep in the freezer and some cheddar cheese on top. And then I've got some chicken nuggets for them, some salad. We've got some beetroot that I pickled a little while ago. There's some cheese in there, we've got some salad cream, and just a little, let's see all the toys in there, oh no, the shop's collapsed, never mind. <laughs> um, we're just going to have a lovely little tea and watch a film all together. Today we're just having a really quick curry. I grabbed a curry sauce base out of my freezer, defrosted it in the microwave, and some naan breads from the freezer, and just popped them into the toaster on defrost like number two and they just work brilliantly just turned them halfway and into the for the curry I um, cooked some onions with some black mustard seed added some madras curry powder which is just a mild curry powder some paprika some turmeric and a little garam masala and then just cooked it with the with the vegetables and with the curry base and then I added um took some out for the children and then I added some chili powder for Steve and I to make it a little spicier and so everybody will eat it and we've got potatoes chickpeas broccoli peas and carrots in there so it's nice and healthy and really easy quick and simple we've been putting the tree up so it takes all day um the children have been at school because we've had uh, no electric in the village up the hill from us where the school is because of the storm so we've had a day at home doing the tree and now we're going to have lovely delicious curry and watch the santa claus the movie no we've watched that one I'm waffling we're going to watch the santa claus number three <laughs> there we go this evening we have got uh, loaded wedges, Steve and I like pizza wedges. I wanted a takeaway, but I resisted because saving the pennies for Christmas and also not very good for you. So I wanted pizza fries, but instead of fries, I made wedges. And Steve likes crispy wedges, so in order to keep them crispy, when I melt the cheese and the vegetables on top, I've put the pizza sauce into little dipping pots so we can still dip them. And we've got uh, wedges um, that I parboiled, then popped in the oven with some uh, rapeseed oil and some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper. And then I've topped them with cheddar mozzarella, red onion, orange sweet peppers, some jalapenos and some cherry tomatoes. So it's just what I would have on a pizza and with some pizza sauce on the side to dip in. Delicious. This evening we're having a pasta bake. It actually feels quite summery. <laughs> it's just started to snow. <laughs> Never mind. I just made, um, cooked some onions, some peppers, mushrooms, and some garlic in a pan, and then added some passata, some tomato puree, some uh, what's the word? Philadelphia, and some basil, salt and pepper, a little cayenne pepper. Mix it all together. Cook some pasta. Mix that up, and then popped it into a big tray with lots of cheese on top and a few breadcrumbs. That's what we're having tonight with some side salad, lots of vegetables in there for the children and hopefully they'll eat it all up. There we go. Tonight the children and Steve are having burritos. I really, really didn't fancy them. I don't know why. I might have a very small one. No, actually I don't talk because I'm making some soup for me, um, which isn't ready yet. I'll show you when it's done. Uh, but I've just made them some really quick burritos. I made a really, I've grated some cheese, a really quick salsa, some guacamole, 
some peppers that I just quickly fried up and then with what was left over of the insides of the tomatoes for the salsa I just added it to some rice with some coriander there is coriander in there somewhere and some lime and a little onion to make like a Spanish rice and some chicken nuggets all I do is I cook some chicken nuggets and I slice them up and so it's like breaded chicken isn't it to go inside rather than buying something separate i just use what i've got in the freezer already so yeah they're just gonna have some nice little burritos and there is mine i've got cannellini bean soup and i've just swapped out the pearl barley for orzo it's just what i fancy to have in it instead and i've made i think i've done a recipe for this before so i'll pop it in the link down below in the description down below I'll pop the link in i have been out today at work so i've got a super easy tea i was in marks and spencer's so i grabbed some of their four cheese sauce that you get in the pot in the teeth back in in the refrigerated sections and some garlic bread and i've just made some tagliatelle with the cheese sauce side salad and garlic bread and we're all having the same cheese sauce is really nice actually and steve and i've just got a little bit of pepper on top of ours so there we go there is our tea this evening Hello and welcome to Saturday. Today you've got Steve because Kerry is out helping a friend at her shop. And I don't feel very well so just got a simple tea of cheeseburger and chips and there's some jalapenos and gherkins on mine to try and breathe some life back into me. Today we're having a dinner. I've bought some lamb steaks for the children and for Steve. I do have a plate here as well, just doesn't have anything on it. And we're using the Christmas plates, because why not? It was a waste of time just using them once a year. And then we've got some roast um, potatoes and mash to go with it. I've made too much, but it doesn't matter. It'll get eaten tomorrow. And some broccoli peas and sweet corn, just um, either frozen or in a tin. Some Paxo sage and onion stuffing. We've got cauliflower cheese and Yorkshire puddings. Cook them on a high temperature so they're a little bit charred around the edges, but they've risen and they've got holes in the middle, so I'm happy. So there we go. There's our dinner for today, and I'm going to serve the children at the table like they're in a restaurant or a cafe because my little girl's not eating very well. So we're just trying to do something new to try and help her to eat better, so make it fun. So yeah, there we go. There is our dinner today. This evening we are having tortelloni soup. My mother-in-law's here for tea. There was two more plates there. The children have just got chicken nuggets. They've had curry and all sorts at school today because they're doing Christmas things. Um, and they've been eating treats that Nana bought, <laughs> chocolate and things. So um, there's already at the table and then we're having tortelloni soup. And we're just all going to eat together and have a lovely evening. And that brings us to the end of today's video of some meals that we've eaten over the last couple of weeks. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.